I'm Hannah. And this is Amy. And you're watching Live, Live at, at Linda's. Linda's. It's Hannah, um, a health tech at the Linda Kelly Animal Shelter. This is Polly, not so pocket. <laughs> um, Get it? Because she's a big doll. She is big, but she is a good gal. Polly Pocket is what we call a golden girl. She is 11 years young, <laughs> and she's just she's a sweet bee. Um, if you see on our Facebook, what do we call her? A fruit bat? Uh, yes. Yeah, we started calling her a fruit bat because of the mirrors and those eyes. She just looks like a little fruit bat girl. She's a chill dog who just wants to be your world. She went into foster at one point and the fosters couldn't say enough good about her. Um, she did go into another foster after that and they had dogs and she didn't do so great with the dogs. She's a little bit of a she wants all of your attention kind of gal. Um, so, Can you, you blame know, her? I, we think that she would do best in a home without other dogs. She also tends to fixate and want to chase little kitties, so also no cats. Um, but she is super chill. Uh, she just wants a dog bed to lay yeah. on or somebody to get pets from. She's so good in her kennel. It's kept really clean, mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah. What, she holds her bladder and her poopies. Yeah, for a, for a long, long, long time. time. Yeah, as needed, obviously. Yeah. We try to avoid that, but sometimes, you know, with our shelter hours, it can be hard, and Polly's always clean. She's, she's dedicated to being a cleanly girl. If anybody's wondering why she has these little shave spots on her back, Polly came to us with heartworm disease, uh, and we actually just finished her treatment? Yes. Right? Yep. Okay. Um, with our incredible Dr. Hathaway, who's mm -hmm. amazing. You'll see her on the next segment. Um, we were able to do her heartworm treatment for her, and I mean, that's it. That's all and she that wrote. was something, I think, too, when we first put her up for adoption, she had just like a $500 scholarship towards the heartworm treatment, but we realized that that was kind of hard to get somebody to adopt an older dog that doesn't want to go with dogs, that doesn't want to go with cats, and has heartworm disease. Um, so we went ahead and uh, took care of the treatment. So Did she ourself. should- DIY. When would they want to recheck a heartworm test? Isn't it like six months yeah. after treatment? So uh, we do recommend that she get um, followed up by a vet um, and recheck to make sure that she's negative for heartworms again. But this treatment's pretty, pretty awesome pretty so on, yeah. yeah so she's she's ready to go she is ready to go she's a good girl she just wants to crawl up curl up with somebody and watch tv perfect for the she's winter time pretty agile too i mean she jumped in our durango like it was nothing good girl. so even though she's 11 she's she got spunk she got spunk she got spunk she got spunk, she got spunk. and that's polly pocket not so pocket <laughs> um, so next is Dr. Hathaway, and she will be talking to you guys about spaying and neutering. Da, 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 da. Today, I'm going to talk about the importance of spaying and neutering your pets. In a nutshell, spay-neuter refers to the process of surgically removing the gonads to prevent reproduction. In females, the ovaries and part of the uterus are removed. In some cases, only the ovaries are removed. In males, the testicles are removed. By having your pet spayed or neutered, your pet is getting much more than just preventing an unexpected litter. Females spayed before their first heat have virtually zero risk of developing mammary cancer in the future. When spayed after their first heat, the risk of mammary cancer is still reduced by over 80%. This is super important because 90% of mammary cancer in cats is malignant and 25 to 50% of cancer in dogs is malignant. Intact or unspayed females are also at risk of developing pyometra, a severe uterine infection that can cause severe illness and even death. Spaying virtually eliminates the risk for a pyometra. For males, neutering eliminates the risk of testicular cancer 
and certain prostate diseases such as prostate enlargement and infection. Other benefits of neutering males are that it decreases certain nuisance behaviors such as urine marking, humping, and even running away from home. The spay-neuter process is surgical and requires your pet to be under general anesthesia. Most spay-neuter surgeries are brief and as minimally invasive as possible, making recovery relatively easy. By the second or third day after surgery, most pets are acting like nothing ever happened. And if I can just get on my soapbox here for a second, in my professional opinion, pet breeding should be kept to a minimum and left to the experts. Experienced, responsible pet breeders are dedicated to the betterment of their breed, and they perform several genetic and health tests before making the choice to breed an animal. Any practice short of this is irresponsible breeding and further contributes to poor genetics and the worldwide pet overpopulation crisis that has led to the euthanasia of one and a half million dogs and cats in American animal shelters last year alone. That's why, thanks to a grant from the Maryland Department of Agriculture, the Linda L. Kelly Animal Shelter offers free spay and neuter services to Calvert County residents that meet certain residency and income requirements. Contact us at 410-535-7387 to learn more and schedule your pet for free surgery. My name is Amy and I am one of the animal care attendants at Linda Kelly Animal Shelter. And this is Miss Sweetie. She's a little nervous, so she's not super happy about sitting on my lap right now. Um, so one of the reasons she's nervous is Miss Sweetie's, um, she came to us because her owner passed. Uh, so she had a rough transition uh, and she was very shut down for a long time at the shelter. And more recently, she has really come around. She's really sweet with all the volunteers. She's a, she just wants to lay in a cat bed and get some love and pets. And this girl loves wet food. So She's about to say that. She, she, mm -hmm. she does. I try to make sure she gets it every day because she really does love it. And she'll talk to you until you give her her wet food. Sometimes she'll talk to you afterwards saying little thank yous. Um, so I think Miss Sweetie, she's 13. So she is an older gal. She's another, another golden girl. Yes. Stop another. reading my mind. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Best friends. Oh, you wanna go in, baby? So I'm gonna let her back in her cage because she's nervous. But you can put a cute oh, bandana girl. on her. Yeah, she says, I like my bandana. Oh, now she's oh, like, well, oh, it's not so oh, bad. Okay, well, 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 well. I can't let you run amok, sister. So, but, whoo. She's fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> and she does love being brushed too. The volunteers um, say that she enjoys being brushed. Um, and like I said, she just wants to lay on her bed and um, sometimes she'll come up and get some snuggles from you. She's a real chill cat. So we got some chill animals here today. She's a good girl. She's all obviously all vaccinated and fixed and all that and ready to go home with somebody who's ready to have a, a golden girl kitty. She's a chill gal McSqueezy. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And that's all she wrote. And that's sweetie. A little sweetie. <laughs> On that note, we are still overcrowded yeah. and need more adoptions and fosters. Yep, we sure do, especially going into the holidays. Uh, we just feel sad these animals not having homes during the holidays. You know, they deserve better. So we do the best we can to take care of them, but they deserve way better. So if you guys could come on out if you're interested in getting a forever friend, we would be more than happy to get you introduced to some dogs or some cats. We have guinea pigs, like five guinea pigs right now. So um, two pigs, two oh, big pigs. Yes, we have a couple two, of hogs. I should two say. farm size pigs. We have a rooster. Yep. Yeah, we got. I think that's everything now. Check I, our website. Mostly dogs and cats, obviously. Yes. So. Um, and our volunteers, you know, we're still accepting volunteers 24 7 all the time. Mm -hmm. um, whatever you can, it's, it makes a difference. Yep, absolutely. Spread the word. If you hear somebody saying they want a dog or a cat, be like, huh, you know, huh? and they say they're going to buy, what? you know, a dog or something, say, hey, you know what? It'd be a lot cheaper to go to Linda Kelly. And get yeah. a rescue dog. Thrift a dog. Thrift. It's like a it's like a dog and cat thrift store. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe, that's a, maybe that's a stretch. <laughs> our website is calvertcountyanimalshelter.com and we will catch you guys on the flippity flip and spay and neuter your pets. Bye.
Thank yes. you. Please. Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Bye. Bye. Thank you.